So our next example is dirty glass. I'm going to show you two types. Um, some regular glass with the fingerprints, smudges and stuff like that. And dirty glass in windows. And all these little details around the window frame and the patches on the glass itself. Okay, you can see some dark dirt around the edges and dusty old dirty looking glass. Okay, so let's start with this uh, regular smudged glass with the fingerprints. I have a simple glass uh, modeled here and we're gonna create a custom texture. Okay, I've downloaded some photos from cgtextures.com something that I think might be useful. And um, let's start with this one. Okay, let's say I like these details over here, so I'm gonna crop it. And uh, reset my canvas to square by using um, by using the crop tool and shift plus dragging one rectangle down to make sure it's square. Okay, let's duplicate. Pressing Ctrl J. Okay, like this and merge them together. Then I want to get rid of the seams. Okay, I don't really need these uh, sharp sharp patches, I want these smudges. So I'm getting rid of all the sharp stuff. Okay. Well, let's fix the seams around the perimeter by using the offset filter. And the central seam as well. All right, so now uh, what we have to do is um, make this map black and white. I'm just going to duplicate the layer just in case I mess something up and uh, ruin this image. I can use the lower layer to redo that. So duplicate it just to be safe. Now let's try. Um, bringing down the saturation and increasing the levels like this. So what I'm looking for is a black map with some white uh, smudges on it. Okay, so something like this maybe. Okay, maybe let's add these smudges as well. Let's bring up the contrast. Desaturate. Actually, this way might be more suited to to the window than this one. So let's save it for later. All right, let's add these prints here. So I'm just going to copy it, paste over here. Uh, 
I don't know what I like this. And bring up the contrast. Okay, desaturate. And let's set the blending mode to lighten. So this way only the lightest stuff, uh, the stuff that is lighter than the layer below it, will be seen. And we can delete this. These edges just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay. Uh, so let's save this texture for now. And set up our basic material. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, with the standard V-Ray material. Set up a diffuse map as black. I mean the diffuse color, almost pure black. I'll make some bright reflections, turn the frontal on, slightly blur the reflections. And make it refractive to make it look like glass. Okay, I'm gonna enable affect shadows so I get transparent shadows as well. Right, and finally, let's add a slight noise map in the bump slot. Okay, let's set the size a bit smaller and let's set the amount to something very low, like one. Now let's see how it looks. And that's your pretty much standard basic clean glass material. And now let's make it dirtier. So you have two options here. You can um, create all sorts of maps for the diffuse, for the reflection glossiness, for the reflectivity and get by with a single material or you can go the easiest way and create a V-Ray blend material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create the blend material, keep this one as sub-material and copy it to the second slot as well. And um, for the second layer, let's look at the reference photos again. So, since there is a slight layer of oily prints, smudges on the glass, the second layer looks uh, much lighter, less refractive, and the refractions seem to be a bit blurred as well. And ref reflections, uh, I think, should be blurred too. So, to do that, we're going to modify our coat material. Now, first by increasing the diffuse. The diffuse color. Okay, and then let's uh, lower the reflections a little bit and blur them a bit more. And as well as bring down the refractions. Maybe not that much, but something like this maybe. And let's slightly blur them as well. Okay, I think this might be a good coat, uh, we'll just have to try it and see how it looks. Alright, then let's use our texture in the blend amount slot. So here we go. I want to see how it looks in my model. Alright, we can probably increase styling. Okay, like this. And you can see in the material preview already that you have these dirtier looking spots on your glass. So let's uh, reduce the blur a little bit and render and see how it looks.
Okay. So you can already see some uh, lighter spots that look dirty, but they look pretty sharp and a bit unrealistic. So this means we must go back to Photoshop and fix our map. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go back. Okay, just one more look. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, merge these layers together. Duplicate. Uh, again, just to make sure I have a unmodified copy. Which I can go back to if I need. And now uh, I'm going to use the smudge tool to actually smudge this uh, texture. So something like a medium hardness brush. Maybe let's make it larger. And my strength is set to 25%. And just smudge it out to make sure there are no super crisp details anywhere. Make it all a bit blurry. Pay the most attention to these white areas with sharp edges. This is what you want to get rid of. Want to make the edges much much softer and distorted. Okay. That's a good start, I think. And uh, maybe let's add some uh, finger fingerprints from our from our open reference photos. I'm gonna take this one, copy it, and paste on top here. Just press Control I to invert your image. Rotate it, position in place. Just gonna delete the sharp border. Okay, and scale it a bit larger. And set my blending mode to lighten. Let's make this brighter and smudge them a little bit. Okay. Let's resave the file and see how it looks back in 3D Max. All right, let's go back. This area looks nice. Looks like the texture is uh, upside down for some reason. flip this around. Okay. 
It's gonna go in my UE editor. And move, move my UVs around a little bit. Till I get. Okay. This looks like a good position. Let's leave it here. Okay. And render and see how it looks. Probably be easier to see on a dark background. Let's try that. And we have this dirty glass effect going on here. So the effect is quite subtle, but that's exactly what you're looking for. Just these little details that add more realism to your scenes. I think it looks quite good. Okay, so that's basic uh, glass with some smudges. 